Hey, what's happening there guys? Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. It is a crappy, shitty, dismal fall day today here. More crappiness to come tomorrow and in following days here in southern Quebec. Anyway, uh, since I'm not motivated at, at all to go out and film today because of the weather, and yesterday was just gorgeous, it was like 1 or 2 degrees Celsius, it was just sunny all day, it was a very, very rare day. I had planned for the last few days to make a video of of all the, well not all, but in segments of the 8, all, a bunch of all my 8x12 photo enlargements I have here. So I have a pile of the cars, which is the most ones I have, then I have a little, little pile of 8x12s of buses, and then there's another one for trucks. So uh, I uh, used to sell on eBay, as I mentioned several times, and I don't anymore, and most of these photos, they're also on Kijiji, you can see them uh, uh, on Kijiji here in, uh, well, in the Montreal section. And uh, also, uh, uh, these photos are all one of a kind, and look, just to show you how many there are, look at this pile I put, this is all the cars I have. Look at that, there's like, there's like 40 or so, I don't know, 40, 45 photos here that I had enlarged, most of them years ago, and actually a few of them recently even. So I'm going to show you them all one by one. Just checking the lighting here again, making sure it looks okay. Yeah, it looks good. So there's a 55 Lincoln Capri that I uh, photographed uh, jetting by in uh, San Francisco in 2006. And by the way, uh, most of these photos are glossy, and they're almost all one of a kind. And a lot of them are made from slide photos, not from uh, uh, digital or 35 millimeter. Like this is from a slide photo, for example. Here's my old 65 LeSabre. Uh, wait a second, let me just see something here. Okay, yeah. Here's my old 65 Buick LeSabre, which you've seen before in a couple other videos. There it is right there. Yeah. Right on. She was a beauty. And uh, maybe arguably even even nicer picture right here. This was in um, 99 or 2000, I think. I'm just checking something here. I want to make sure the, uh, the exposure is right. This is a 66 Le Sabre. Again, same body style as the 65. But this one was when I was in Scouts and we went to a jamboree out in Alberta. And uh, this one was in... Um, in Calgary, and look at all those cheap shit boxes today. Eh? But it's funny when you're really old school and you see one of these cars today, you think to yourself, "Wow, that's neat. That's different. You know, you don't see those anymore." Oh, by the way, almost all these pictures are ten dollars each. There's a few exceptions where I'll sell for five because the quality is not fantastic. And uh, most of these photos, I think, are also signed with my signature in the back. Like there it is. See. So this is this is great with Christmas coming. You want to get something uh, something different, you know. What? Well, hang on. Okay, getting back to business and still on the Buick thing here. It's actually funny that I got three Buick pictures, all full size, all 63 in a row. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not, but anyway, here's a '64 Le Sabre convertible that I had uh, photographed here in Montreal at a garage. There's no way this thing was being driven in the winter, but I'm sure being worked on. This is a car I saw time and time again over the years, and this was in 2004 or 5. Okay, next. Oh, by the way, just to show you I'm not bullshit, look, these are all professionally processed photos. Agfa paper, there's my signature. Oh, yeah, look at this beauty, huh? Hey, 66 Buick Special. This is a car I saw maybe a couple of times, never saw it again. Uh, this is, was in the Lachine sector. And uh, what a beautiful hot rod it was. This was at uh, Zeke's, Zeke's Performance uh, Garage. Yeah, they had always had old cars parked in the front. That was their specialty. Even that building in the background doesn't even exist anymore. And I like that Bonneville. Hi, Gloria. Gloria. Meow. Gloria. Okay. Uh, here's a photo I had blown up not that long ago. Yeah, it's a Christine-like 57 Plymouth, um, well, I'm going to say it's a Belvedere. It could be a Fury, but I think it's a Belvedere. Most of them are Belvedere's, just like in the movie. And notice that this car had the Cross Ram V8. It was probably a 350 Commando. Amazing. What happened to this car? I don't know. Uh, okay, this one's not signed because I had it blown up recently, but it will be done. Here's an old friend of mine, 60. 
Oh, by the way, yeah, I took that picture in like 99 here in Montreal at a car show. Uh, this photo I took in 2006 with uh, regular film, actually, was a friend of mine's 60 Chevy Bel Air. Fantastic automobile. Originally had a straight six, then ended up with a 350. Fabulous. This was in uh, 2009, 1970 Jaguar E-Type, and I liked, I loved it. I was just sitting there next to an ex-friend of mine, and there was this reflection of this skyscraper at this show on St. Catherine Street, downtown Montreal. Fantastic. Love it. Oh, here's a car. This is one of those cars that I had seen. You know I love Buicks, and this is one of those cars I had seen where I'm like, man, you know, if I could only buy this. Oh, my God. Absolutely love this. 60 Buick LeSabre. Gorgeous automobile, uh, very original, I mean right down to the hubcaps. And I haven't seen this car in a long time, so I'm hoping it's being restored and then go overseas. This is a photo actually I bought from an, a couple of negatives I bought on eBay years ago. Uh, and you can see this was, um, I think this came from an Oldsmobile executive's uh, estate. And this was taken at a factory in 58 where the, the uh, headlights on a 58 Oldsmobile Dynamic are being adjusted. And this is not 8x12, this is more like 8x10. By, 8 by uh, I haven't had many uh, photos of uh, foreign cars developed, but this is to me the coolest Volvo ever made. The P1800, this is a 71 right here in Montreal. It's actually still in the street in the plateau section uh, in the summer months. And... Uh, this was in 2007. Now my back's starting to hurt. I'm going to have to sit down here. Just a second, guys. Okay, you're looking at, I think, an 80 to 82 Chrysler LeBaron. Uh, you can see she suffered some damage. This is a picture I took in 2004, 2005, here in Montreal in the Plateau sector. And um, not hard to see why I never sold this. I mean, not many people like these cars. They're not collectible. They're really not worth much money. They were not built at the uh, highest uh, quality period for Chrysler, unfortunately. And... Uh, but I still really like this picture. And actually, you know what's funny is that because it's not a fantastic picture, I took it in the winter. Uh, if you want, I'll take five bucks for it, no less. And speaking of pictures for only five dollars, here's one as well. I had this photo. Uh, I took this photo when I lived in the Verdun part of the city in 2009 to 2000, uh, 2008 to 2011. And this is a 64 Pontiac Parisienne, and the reason why this photo is, is only $5 is not because it's not glossy, it's actually because uh, the roof was cut off uh, in development, because the photo, the actual photo, the, the roof roof isn't cropped out like that. Lovely car. Uh, well, this photo was uh, is not a photo I took personally, but I loved it very much. It took, uh, taken by, uh, uh, you guys remember Ben Lohman? Well, he took this picture uh, back when uh, we were friends, and it's a 74 Dodge Monaco. Bluesmobile's got cop shocks, cop tires, cop motor, and run good on regular gas because it doesn't have uh, catalytic converters. And this one, of course, also was unfortunately badly cropped on the right side corner of the car, so this one, uh, yeah, five bucks. Get rid of it. Okay, back to some $10 photos. Uh, this photo I took in uh, Granby, Quebec. Granby has the biggest classic car show in Canada. It used to be Barry, but now it's Granby. And, um, yeah, this is a 61 Imperial made by Chrysler. And uh, this one is not glossy. Oh, did I say I took this in 2000? No, this is in 2005. Excuse me. This is from a slide photo. Uh, this is a 62 uh, Canadian Chrysler Saratoga 300. These were very good selling cars, and I think a lot of priests bought Chryslers in the 60s and earlier. I don't know why. I think they had the money to buy Buicks and Cadillacs, but maybe they thought that the uh, Chrysler was more of a modest pick. And uh, this car was in the NDG sector of Montreal in 2003, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Another Chrysler, uh, 60 Chrysler Windsor. I once got a ride home in this beautiful thing back in, uh, oh my God, I don't know, 2006. And this guy, I remember his name was Steve, really nice guy. He gave me a ride home in this then. He had his uh, toddler back in a baby seat and back seat and this thing had a 440 in it. <laughs> ah, what a car. Awesome, awesome. Red interior. Uh, what happened to it? Again, once again, no idea. Probably in a garage somewhere. 
Speaking of old Chrysler's, uh, this was in uh, Oakland, California. Yeah, right over to San Francisco Bay, Bay, 68 Chrysler Town & Country. One of two 68 Chrysler Town & Countries I saw on my trip to California in 2006 in August. Uh, this one was rough, the other one was mint. So one day I'd have to get a uh, print done of the one that's uh, uh, mint condition. And uh, this is a Canadian 60 Pontiac Laurentian. Um, beautiful car again another this is one of these cars I love so much I always wonder what the hell happened to this car is it is it still here in in Quebec what how oh, I absolutely love this car I had a straight 6 261 six cylinder uh, low mileage this was in Roxborough in uh, I think 2000 2000 I think yeah there's my signature what do you say Gloria meow Gloria Psst. meow There you go. Get her to me. Good kitty cat. Who's a good kitty cat? Yeah, she knows anyway. Okay, so uh, out in Rapunzel, which is just off the island of Montreal, uh, just east of where I am here, is this was this '74 Buick Electra, which a perfect color for a car to '70s, since most cars in the '70s disintegrated practically from rusting so badly. Uh, this 455 powered Bohemoth. Uh, uh, I spotted in uh, 2005 with a friend of mine cruising, uh, well, another, another most another former friend of mine cruising in a 79 Trans Am. This is a photo actually I had uh, blown up from a, uh, a, trans, a slide uh, transparency taken in 1952 as indicated by the Chrysler and that Ford. And uh, this was in uh, Moncton, New Brunswick, but uh, I don't know, could be Fredericton. Okay, five dollar photo, five dollar photo, five dollar photo. It's basically at cost or at my cost. Uh, Sixty-seven or sorry, sixty-eight Ford Mustang with some really old school tires. Look at those tires, man! How old they are? They're old bias plies. So that tells you this car was probably in storage for like forty years or something. This was in Glen Robertson, Ontario, uh, two thousand eight, and you can see a Parisienne or something in the back there. Uh, another photo I had blown up many years ago. I took this photo originally in uh, like 2000 or 99 in the Moto Royal sector of Montreal. It is a 75 Buick Le Sabre. And I actually used that wall for a drawing of a 69 Mach 1 years, uh, well, not long after that actually, come to think of it. Uh, or before that. Hey, whatever, one of a kind. All photos one of a kind. Speaking of which, here's one for cheap. It taken in Times Square, New York. 2005. That's why those people are looking up at the tall buildings with that 66 Mustang and a big D's. And it's only $5 because the photo is not sharp. Oh, by the way, shipping. Uh, shipping for uh, photos is uh, 3 bucks for like two or three photos, maybe five for a few more. And I take uh, PayPal uh, in Montreal, uh, sorry, in Canada or US or Europe. But it's, as for being Canadian, you can also pay by Interac e-transfer. 7071 Dodge uh, Challenger RT uh, in Laval, Quebec. Uh, the weekly car show. That was in 2010, about. This was also in 2010. This one, this is one of those photos I don't care if I don't sell. I love checkers. I always have. This is a 72 Checker Superba. The Superba was a stretch version, just like a Mercedes uh, SEL that had a longer. Uh, rear doors. Fantastic car. Never saw it again. I don't know what happened to it. Hope the guy didn't sell it who had it. Uh, but I did remember seeing a few times he had a Kaiser. And this is the drawing that actually... Uh, the drawing. <laughs> this is the uh, photo that I, I took and I used to make my painting that I have in my living room of that Christine. Yeah, 58 Plummet Belvedere. And this was in uh, San Francisco 2006. Hard to believe that that imagine in 2000, uh, 2015 or sorry 2016 two years ago I would re-see this car the same car from San Francisco that was repainted had the correct type of interior just like in the in the movie all right for you Pontiac Parisienne fans the Canadian Pontiac Parisienne which is just basically a Canadian Bonneville here's one in 2004 on Ariura Bourassa Boulevard here in Montreal there's the metro station there. Yeah. 58 Pontiac uh, Chieftain. Uh, one of the cars in better condition in Cuba. Yeah, when I went down there in 2000, uh, 2000, 
sorry, 2007, and uh, oh man, I, I went through six rolls of Kodak film, man. It was like a roll a day. Uh, this one I'll sell for five bucks because uh, it's not an amazing photo, it's not an amazing car, it's a nice picture, it's not amazing though, it's not like, you know, totally sharp. It's a 60, 63 Mercury Comet, St. Laurent Street, aka the main in Montreal, 2005. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, most beautiful 67 Cadillac I've ever seen. Look at that, 67 Cadillac Coupe de Ville that I photographed in detail in Ville Saint Laurent at the time when I was uh, um, doing photo shoots of old cars, writing for an old car magazine in um, in, in uh, France called V8 Magazine. Not V8 Passion in Montreal and Quebec, but V8. Uh... Oh, by the way, je suis un bilingue aussi. Hein? Si vous êtes intéressé à faire une photo, c'est tout des originales, c'est tout des photos uniques. Je les ai mis beaucoup euh, sur euh, qui j'ai durant des années. Fait que... So, 10 piastres chaque, puis uh, 3 piastres pour le shipping. Yeah, beautiful. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing car. The owner was cool, too. I don't know what happened to that car. I haven't seen it in the longest time. This was the only... The, the only I only saw two Lincolns when I was in Cuba. You saw almost every make a car, but there were a few cars I saw, like none, like Packard, for example. Uh, Kaiser. And Lincolns, only two. This one and a uh, 51. This is a 58... Uh, I think it's a premiere in Havana. Amazing. The guy, the guy actually like I don't know smoking. It just seems to add to it. The people in the background and it's just really cool. That is a Dodge Murata based off the um, uh, Chrysler Cordoba. Uh, this I did photographed a couple of years ago at the Montreal Orange Julep where they have the weekly shows. And it's funny because those white walls, if I remember right, they were added on. There were pieces of rubber added to the car because one of them, I think, they was kind of coming off on the other side. 64 Chevelle. <clears throat> 64 Chevelle Custom Deluxe or Custom 300 in Bentleyville, Pennsylvania. Yeah, this is not a glossy picture. Very cool. It was in a junkyard. 63 Chevy Impala uh, Sport Coupe. This is in the Roxborough sector of Montreal, 2003 or 2004. Yeah, I grew up in Roxborough in the 80s as a kid. Uh, this one I'll take five bucks for instead of ten because um, it's a good photo, but the kind of white sky, it's a little dull, but still, I think it's really cool. I'd like Again, I price things to sell. You know, I'm not asking 15, 20, 30 bucks for each of these photos. I want to I get rid of some of them. I put a lot of money into this stuff. This I took here on Mount Royal on the street that they, the city wants to close. The road they want to close, and I don't know why the name escapes of me right now, what it's called. And uh, this goes around the mountain, and you you cruise on it like you feel like you're in Hollywood. That was a friend of mine's a 67 Impala, and I was cruising with our buddy in a 2000, 2005 in his, his 60 Chevy Bel Air. <coughs> All right, moving it along here. This is going to be a very long video. I'm trying. That's why I'm talking fast. Not just because I had a coffee. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. This is a '62 or '63 Falcon Futura in Deux Montagnes, Two Mountains, Quebec, just uh, north of Montreal. I had this photo developed many years ago. I took this photo in 2000 or '99. This photo I took, I think, in 2010 or '11, Nash Metropolitan, in front of Indy Auto at Nick's uh, Garage. <coughs> he said it was a 61, but that's incorrect because these were made until 59, I think, or 60. Santa Monica, California, 2006. That is a Toyota Corona, if I'm not mistaken. When I went there, I was in, um, in L.A. for a week, 2006. Very cool. Uh, one of the slides that I had, um, Kodachrome slides I had for taken in 1952 there in New Brunswick. This was in Moncton, nice panel truck, Ford or Mercury. British car there. El Camino, Chevy El Camino, uh, 83 to 87, uh, San Francisco, 2006. Right on. This is a photo actually I had scanned many years ago. I had cut out from a book. It was a student driver book, a uh, Quebec one. That's why it says RS Stop, it's bilingual, and it was a car accident. I thought the picture was so good, I, I scanned it. I had a scanner hooked up and just had it printed for, for my own fun. and. Um, but again, you know, you can't keep everything, so... <coughs> Here's a gorgeous 73 Cadillac Sedan de Ville. I think I had seen recently for sale on Kijiji. This was on St. Laurent Street in 2005. Absolutely beautiful photo with the 
uh, with the, the, the building reflecting in the low sun in the, in the window there. Just absolutely gorgeous. 61 Cadillac uh, Coupe de Ville, uh, seen on Sherbrooke Street in the Westmount sector of Montreal, 2000, 2010, I think, 2009. Apparently, it was a big redhead. She had this car. 62 Chevy Impala convertible. This was at uh, the Cornwall show, 2009, I believe. Great picture. This one though is 8x10. 59 El Camino. I had the pleasure of taking doing a photo shoot of this car. As well as riding in it, uh, fantastic car. I haven't seen it in years. Don't know where it is. Uh, taken uh, by the water there in the Dorval sector of the city in 2004. There's my friend Dukes again. His 60 Chevy Bel Air. Taken uh, parking lot there of the uh, shopping plaza on the corner of, of uh, Van Horn and Victoria in Montreal. 2000. I don't know four or five. Hey, we're almost done here. 65 uh, Chrysler. A daily driver, 65 Chrysler 300, uh, Los Angeles, near Sunset Boulevard, 2006, August. 58 Oldsmobile 98 convertible, one of my dream cars, in Granby, Quebec, uh, 1999. Uh, outstanding uh, automobile, it was from Quebec City. Uh, really outstanding in every way, and rare, and even that original color, uh, I don't remember what it was called. It's amazing, I never sold this photo. 58 Olds again, just like the other one, at the GI Oldsmobile factory in Michigan. Uh, just like the other one which shows the headlights being adjusted, uh, this was a photo, uh, the negatives I bought uh, on eBay years ago, they came from an ex Oldsmobile executive's estate. Oh man, I'd love to have one of these cars, two-door post. <laughs> I'm talking so much, I'm coughing. Sexy, gorgeous, bloody gorgeous, another one I can't believe it. So look, Kevin, there's your Lincoln right there. Uh, that one's got the stretch doors on it, by the way, and I'm not even talking about that Corvette. Yeah, Corvette, 58, 59, 60. Uh, Santa Monica Boulevard, I believe, in Los Angeles, uh, rush hour traffic, 2006. Again, these would make great gifts for anybody. Very unique gifts, easy to frame, inexpensive. Um, this one I had blown up. You're thinking, well, why the hell do you have this, this dirty old car blown up there with part of its bumper missing? I did because my dad had a 79 Delta 88, which I really loved. And here's a 77 that was in the Saint Laurent sector of Montreal in 05, Delta 88 Royale. Mumpers got paint on it and part of it's rusted out here because those bumpers were hideous. They were notorious for rust. San Francisco, 2006. Look at that VW Rabbit Wagon. When was the last time you saw one of those? And there's a Chevy Nova behind it, 76, 77 or so. 57 Pontiac, typical beautiful homes. That was in the Mission District, 2006. San Francisco again, 2006, 1961 Chevy Impala, sport sedan, gorgeous. Even without hubcaps, they were gorgeous. Doesn't matter. And look at that. That spotlight, man, you know, woo, daddy, beautiful car, fantastic, nice low sun, uh, low lighting. And uh, Nick's Garage, uh, when it was in Montreal, this is a uh, or Indy Auto, if you will. Uh, this was a 1970 Dodge uh, Challenger uh, that belonged to the famous John Stacy uh, from Ganawagi. He had a big car collection, big car collector, big guy, by the way. And uh, this, uh, yeah, that Nick's Garage, and um, I remember one of the mechanics saying it was shit, this car or something. I don't know why, whatever. I mean, they know better than me. Uh, that was 2009, I think. Uh, this I took in uh, 2001. I remember because I had a defective Vividar camera, a manual camera. And that's a 58 Buick Special that was in Kirkland, right off St. Charles Boulevard here in Montreal in the Burbs. Oh, uh, a lot of people almost cried when they saw this photo. Yeah, you know what it is. A GNX, Buick Grand National, uh, 2003, Saint Henri sector of Montreal, where I go with the court, car sp uh, train spotting all the time. Fantastic. 66 uh, Buick uh, LeSabre. Yeah, man, Los Angeles, uh, near Hollywood, or I think in Hollywood, 2006. Very nice. Yeah, this was with some special low-lighting film here. I don't know, some Kodak film. Absolutely gorgeous. Never saw this car again. Type of car I would buy in a heartbeat. Absolutely fantastic. 60 Chevy Impala. I doubt that's the original color. I think I know which colors it may have been originally because there was one I took a photo of once. It was all original right down to the um, bronze metallic paint. And I think that this might be the same car. Pfft, probably went to the States or overseas as usual story, you know. Now, speaking of Nick's Garage at Indy Auto, uh, back when it was in Montreal, here's a shop also, I think, that uh, this car belonged to John Stacy. Uh, it was a 70 uh, Dodge Super B, and I thought it was 
cool to get a shot of it with the blower engine and the, the 426 Hemi mat there. Uh, you know what? Believe it or not, I'll take five bucks for this picture because it's not the greatest quality. I didn't. You can see I didn't edit it anything. It's kind of a little dull. 67 Canadian Pontiac Strata Chief. This car may still be around. This was in the Mile End sector of the city back in 2000. Love these old sedans. You know me. I like my four-door sedans. I know what you're saying, Dave. If you see this, well, it's a four-door. Uh, 66, 67, little Falcon, I don't know why the hell I had this blown up, it's not an amazing photo, but I know there's some Falcon fanatics out there, this was a car about to head in, the, crossing the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Cary Expressway, about to go into the Orange Jewel up there in 2009, 2010, very original, yeah, look how original this car is, look at that, it's got the original bias ply tires on it, for crying out loud, look at that. That's really stuck. You can see there was some body work there done to that door. I like the guys all smiling, all happy. This I thought was cute, you know, 60 Chevy Impala. It's still around this car. I took this picture about 10 years ago. Not even, I think, maybe 2010. You have this big stuffed dog. It's just neat. You know, I like it. 58 Oldsmobile in Havana, Cuba, 2007, February. Uh, one of five 58 Oldsmobiles I saw. This one, well, you can see it's either being fixed or a restoration next to a 53, 54 Chevy. And, uh, yeah, beautiful picture. And I'm almost finished here. 60 Ford uh, Thunderbird. I did a photo shoot back at the Veterans Hospital in Saint Anne de Bellevue, Bellevue in, um, here in Montreal on the western tip in uh, 2002. Some slight rain. Took some great shots, this, this, this T-Bird. Again, another car. I wonder what the hell happened to it, though, seriously. Uh, and uh, here's... Um, Here's a couple of uh, die-cast cars. I used to have a die-cast car collection. I almost sold pretty much all of them. And there they are on my old Harman Kardon stereo in a low sun there when I lived in my basement apartment in NDG. This was like 2006 Riviera and the T-Bird. I just thought it was neat. You know, it's just old school all the way. Uh, this is a photo I had blown up not that long ago, actually. Um, sometime this year, maybe. Again, you know, this is an amazing car. A 66 Dodge Coronet RT or 67 at the Orange Julep. This was like 1999. You know, fantastic. And uh, here is a picture a friend of mine took actually in, um, in New York City back in, uh, I don't know, I think 99, 98? I think 99. Look at that wrecked Crown Victoria, man. Amazing. You know, for some reason, sometimes, I, you know, I'm a delusional person. I used to be more so, and I thought, oh, I'm going to sell a lot of these. So I had the money, and I had, like, I don't know, I think four or five of these printed up. So this is not a one-of-a-kind picture. And finally, we end with a picture that I just had recently blown up. It's a Canadian 75 Mercury Meteor Mocam, which is basically a Canadian Mercury Monterey. And in driver condition in 2005 or six, 2006, I think, in the St. Reed district. And again, like I said, I just had this blown up. So that's it, guys. So, well, uh, I hope you like what you saw there. And if, uh, of course, you have any questions. And like I said, you know, um, again, it's a price to sell, 10 bucks each. Some of them, like I said, are 5 bucks each. Uh, I do combine shipping. You can buy as many pictures as you want. But because of the weight of the paper compared to, let's say, magazine paper, it's, it'll cost more. Like, you know, let's say, uh, I don't know, if you, if you buy more than four, it's going to be more than 3 bucks to ship, you know. But... Anyway guys, so that's it, and I uh, hope you liked it, and uh, take it easy. Thanks for watching.